Yeah, it was good? Yes. Yeah. I read your essay that you wrote about Friday the 13th. Yes. It was really good. I liked it a lot. I like where you say, um, I was going to eat lunch with my, um, at lunchtime, I was going to eat lunch with my friends, but my lunch was missing. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I like that. It was missing. That's good vocabulary. So okay. there's a couple places where it could be a, a little bit better. So when you're writing about Friday the 13th, were you writing about something that's happening right now or something that already happened? Um, it didn't happen, so I made it up. Yeah, you made it up, so it was fiction, right? But did was it fiction that's happening or fiction that already happened? A story uh, from the past or a story from now? From now. From now, okay. So you here is a... A sentence, okay, that you wrote. Okay, at lunchtime, I was going to eat lunch with my friends. Is that past or present? Um, you say I was. It's past. It's past, right? So this story already happened. Right? It's not real, but it's a story that's from the past. So, can you change this sentence and make it from the past? So, I ate nothing for lunch. Exactly, yeah. So, you're going to want to say, so I ate. How do you spell ate? Um, A-T-E. Exactly. Exactly. So can you change that sentence? Is the worst Friday the 13th ever. I like how you capitalize ever in there. So how could you change this one to past when you say this day is the worst? Uh, this day was the worst Friday the 13th ever. Perfect. Perfect. So can you change that? Yes. Perfect. Nice job. So the only other correction in the whole thing is the word homework. When you're saying you have more than one homework assignment, do you think you should say homework or homeworks? Uh, so it's more than one, so it should be homeworks. So that makes a lot of sense, right? Because usually when it's more than one, we add an S and we make it plural. So this is a confusing word. So some words, we call them uncountable, right? Because you can't really count how much homework you have. So you actually don't even add an S. You just say it exactly the same. No matter how much homework you have, it's always just homework. Uh. I know, it's kind of confusing. It's like money. If you have a lot of money, you still just say money. So I have a lot of money is the same as if you just have $1. If you have $10, you still have money. Same with homework. If you have a uh. little bit of homework, it's homework. And if you have a lot of homework, it's homework. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, can you make those, can you change those in your story and make those corrections and for your final draft for homework? Uh, yes. Thanks. So, what did you do this weekend? Um, yesterday at night, um, me and my family went outside and rode a bike. And we exercise, and, and we went back home. So it was really a fun day. Oh, that sounds like a really fun day. Do you like to do things outside? Yes. Yeah, so riding a bike, that's a great thing to do outside. Are there any other activities you like to do outside? 
Um, I want to play outside with my friends. Oh, nice. Just playing outside with your friends. That's fun. What about fishing? Um, I fished, um, I fished, um, um, I kind of like fishing, mm -hmm. but it took a really, really long time to do it. And you need really good patience. Yes. So, it's, I think it was really, 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 really tired. Yeah, you were tired after you went fishing. Yeah, I understand. It does take a lot of patience. Did you catch any fish? Um, long ago, me and my family went fishing and we caught only one fish. Oh, really? But one fish, that's good. And that's enough for everyone to, to share. <laughs> that's um, great. We didn't share. Um, we just let it go. Oh, that's nice of you. So you caught the fish, but then you let it go home. Yeah. That's great. That's so nice of you guys. So if you go to page 18, we're starting a new story. Ah. What's the title? A fishing trip. Yeah. So we're going to read about somebody else's fishing trip. Can you, um, we're going to do the key vocabulary. So first I'm going to say the words and you repeat them. Okay? Okay. All right. Nervous. Uh, nervous. Worried. Perfect. Okay. So my sentence with nervous is before I had to go on stage in a play, I got really nervous. Uh, when I have to do orchestra, orchestra finals, I was really, really nervous. Oh, that's a good one. I bet that would make you really nervous. Okay, next yeah. one. Calm. Um, calm. Quiet. Perfect. So... I like to go outside in nature, especially when it's really nice and calm. Um, some people like it, like their their family very calm. Yeah, nice. Is your family calm? Um, uh, sometimes. Sometimes, nice. Okay, next one, nap. Nap, to sleep. So, when I stay up late at night, the next day, I usually have to take a nap. Mm. Um, these days, I don't take a nap. Yeah, so you don't usually take a nap. Nice. Last one, ashamed. Ashamed, feeling embarrassed. Yeah. So... I was ashamed when I dropped my dinner and it spilled everywhere. Um, I felt ashamed when I was at school because I didn't, I was the only one who didn't do the homework. Nice. Yeah. So can you think of um, another time when you felt nervous? Um, um, the first time I was talking to you. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, sometimes it is. It's nervous when you have to talk to a new person, especially when you don't know them at all. Yeah. Yes. Okay, what about another time that you felt calm? Um, mm. When I was with my family, I'm very calm. Nice. And what about ashamed? Um, I was 
was ashamed when I didn't do all my homework on every class. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so let's read the story. Yeah. Um, and what, what do those words all have in common, by the way? Nervous, calm, and ashamed. What do they have in common? They're, they're kind of emotions. Exactly. Yeah, they're all emotions. Nice. Okay, so start from the first paragraph. Uh, today I went fishing with my grandfather. I was nervous. At first I thought I might fall into the lake. The lake was very deep. Also, I had to put a worm on the fishing hook. I did not like that. It was disgusting. However, my fa my grandfather helped me. Yeah, so what was the first emotion that this boy feels? Um, he felt really, really ner nervous. Exactly. And then what makes him feel disgusted? What does he not like doing? Um, he had to hook a worm on his fishing hook. Exactly. Okay, next paragraph. Uh, I like sitting in the boat with my grandfather out on the wide, wide, wide lake. It was very calm. The sun was shining on the water. After two hours, I felt right. something tucked on the fishing line. I caught a fish. So what does he like doing? Um, he liked doing the, the water and everything was really calm. So when, also he liked it when the sun was shining on the water. Yeah, he liked it when everything was calm and the sun is on the water. And then what happened after two hours? Uh, it, he felt something tug on his fishing line, and so he caught a fish. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, last paragraph. Uh, I didn't know what to do. My grandfather was napping, and I didn't want to wake him up. Also, while I was trying to get the fish into the boat, I dropped my fishing rod. It fell into the water with a big splash, and my grandfather woke up. I was so ashamed that my face turned red. Red. I thought I was going to cry, but my grandfather smiled at me. He said that it's, a, it's okay to make mistakes while fishing. He told me that once my brother caught an old shoe and he's his fishing rod. I guess that I'm not the only one in my family who has trouble with fishing. So why did he feel ashamed? Um, because he dropped his fishing rod so he turned his face turned red Exactly. Yeah, so um, did he end up catching a fish? Um, he didn't catch the fish. Right. And what did his grandfather tell him to make him feel better? Um, his grandfather said that it was okay because his brother, too, caught an old shoe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his brother also made a mistake while they were fishing. Yes. So he feels nervous, ashamed, and calm, all from the same activity, right? Yes. So, and you told me that when you went fishing, something that you felt was patience, right? You felt patient while you were swimming, while you were fishing. So when you were riding a bike this weekend, what's an emotion that you felt? Um, when I was riding the bike, I was not patient because the bike goes really more faster than the per people. Mm -hmm. So my mom and dad didn't 
come really quick. So I wasn't patient, and <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's the opposite of patient? Do you know how to say that? Uh, unpatient. That's very close. Good guess. It's impatient. Ah. Uh. Yeah. So you could say, when I was riding a bike, I was feeling impatient. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Yeah. So can you say that whole sentence? Uh, when I was riding my bike, I was not pa impatient. Nice. And let's see. What about another activity? So when you're playing outside with your friends, how do you feel? Um, when I was playing with my friends, I was really, really happy when I run and play with my friends. Nice. Yeah, and what's one more thing you like to do outside? Uh, I want to play in the playground with my friends. Or anybody. So when you play on the playground, how do you feel? What's an emotion that you feel? Um, same as when I play with my friends. It is really, really ha I was really, really happy, and um, I was never tired, and it's really fun. Nice. So, have you ever been mountain climbing or rock climbing? Uh, I didn't rock climb, but um, do you know those things that it's like a fake? And there's like this model of rocks, and there was this thing coming out there's something mm -hmm. pop out so you hold it and you climb it and you when you are on the top you come down I did uh -huh. those sometimes oh nice so you climbed the model as if it was a real rock right as if it was a mountain yes. so we call that a rock wall Mm. A rock wall. So you climbed a rock wall. Nice. And when you were at the very top, how did you feel? What emotion did you feel? Um, I felt that I can do these kind of things too. So I was really happy. And it was really, really fun. Same as the other things. And what about, did you ever feel scared while you were climbing? Um, uh, I weren't scared, but when I look at the ground, maybe I was scared. Uh-huh. So you weren't scared. So I would say you weren't scared. So what would you say if you say I? Would you say I, I weren't scared? Uh, How can you make that a little better? So make that a little better. Uh, I wasn't scared. Perfect. That's a great sentence. I wasn't scared. Yeah. So what's the opposite of scared? Um, um, unscared. Very or, good guess. I like how or, you use, you change the prefix, the beginning of the word to make it different. But in this one, it's, we're, I'm thinking of a completely different word. Uh, so somebody brave. who yes exactly very good so you were very brave you weren't scared you were brave nice yeah so to do sometimes doing things outside you have to be patient other times you have to be very brave so do you have any fun plans for the next couple days um tomorrow i'm going to a field trip with my with my friends Oh, nice. Where are you going? Um, to a farm. Great. 
And what do they have on the farm? Is it a vegetable farm or an animal farm? Uh, it weren't those kind of things. I kind of forgot, but mm -hmm. I know it's a farm. Oh, nice. So it, it isn't... Maybe it isn't an animal farm, it isn't yeah. a vegetable farm, but you know it's some kind of farm. Yes. Cool. That'll be fun. Are you looking forward to it? Yes. Nice. Any other fun plans? Um, uh, soon I'm going to talk to you again. Yes, <laughs> on Wednesday morning, you'll also talk to me again. Yes. Nice. So when you go on the field trip, does that mean you get to miss school? Do you still have to go to school? Um, the field trip, it, um, we go on the field trip. The At school, we go to the field trip. So when we are at school... Then um, when time passed, then we go on the field trip. Nice. So you get to go some of the day to school and then some of the day to field trip. Yes. Oh, cool. So you get to miss a little bit of the school day. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Which subject do you hope you get to miss? Um, I want to miss... Uh, history. History. Okay, well, I hope you get to miss history, too. Mm. Nice. Okay, well, I will see you on Wednesday, and I can't wait to hear about your field trip. Okay. Okay, have fun. Uh, thank you. Okay, bye, Becky. Bye.